Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and we are going to unbox this month's sketchbox. Uh, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Uh, untape it. I just got it in the mail today. I'm super excited. Uh, na, 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 na. Go ahead and pop that open and see what we have inside. Ooh, okay, exciting. What is this? This this is watercolor paper. This is Sketchbox exclusive Royal Talons. Um, ooh, black watercolor paper. Oh, <gasps> exciting. Oh, oh, that's thick. How many poundages are you? Uh, 130 pound. Interesting. All right. Oh, that's exciting. What else do we have in here? Here's our card. Ooh, pretty. Na, na, na. Theme of the box. Create. <laughs> this is very pretty. I like it. Here's our artist, Lois Sparks. Here's all of her 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 handles. If you guys want to go check her out? I dig this. The little, the colors are really nice. I'm not a letterer though, so we'll see what happens. And then there's our our sketchbox card. We're not gonna look at that right now. We have a paintbrush. This is a. Uh, Round number four, and Scotch, Sketchbox has these exclusive brushes, so um, that's what they are, Sketchbox exclusives. Come on over there. Come on. There we go. Pop that off. Give it a little wash. There we go. How much snap do you have? Oh, pretty good. It's a teensy brush. There's that guy. What else do we have in here? Ooh, <gasps> fine tech. I've been. Mmm. Come on. Let's see. One, two. <gasps> I've been back and forth about getting the set of these. I don't need any more metallic paints. <laughs> I have tons of stuff, and you guys will see in a future box that, um, I don't need any more paint that's metallic, but this is cool. These are Fine Tech um, pearlescent colors, high quality, made in Germany. This one is silver or blue silver, and there's a number that goes along with it. And this one is golden rose. Intriguing. I dig that. Silver is one of my favorite colors. And then we have oh. I have a bunch of these aqua inks that came in a previous box. Well, not a bunch. A good selection, though. This is watercolor ink. And this one is... What color are you? Tell me. Tell me. By Marabou. Graphics. Aqua ink. Watercolor ink. Uh, part of the motorcycle. Oh, he did a good job. He didn't rev it up going around the corner. Nice. Anyways, it looks like copper to me. Goes well with this. Does it say on top? It does. I'm so silly. It is. It's copper. Yeah. Copper. So there's that. Alright, moving on. So we've got some Sketchbox art crayons. Three of them. And a Glitter pen? Is that everybody? That's oh our sticker. Oh, ooh, sparkly! Look at that theme. Look at our, ooh, that's super sparkly. Mind the motorcycle. I dig it. Okay, let's move these guys out of the way. Ooh, there goes our paintbrush. Still haven't leveled my table. <laughs> okay, let's set the box out of the way. Our glittery sticker right there. And these are, this one is a Jelly Roll Metallic, I'm assuming gold? It looks like it might be gold. See? Let's look at our card. Yep, Sakura Gold Jelly Roll Pen. True Classic. 
pen. Okay. And then these guys, I'm going to need my sharp utensil because they're each wrapped in plastic. And just... Poke a hole in it and set it down so that I don't hurt myself. There we go. Rawr! These are... These ones right here, the Marabou uh, Plus, um, Plus or Times Sketchbox Shimmer Art Crayon. Ooh. Oh wow, it's like a lipstick. Look at that baby. Ooh. Let's roll it all the way up. Watch it fall out. <laughs> oh, that's. Ooh, she says it with laughter. That's quite a, quite a bit of product. Let's put that back in there. It is like lipstick. It's kind of soft. Let it go back down now. I'm gonna have to... Aw oh man, I ruined it. Sorry. We'll gently press it back in. But not straight. So there we go. See what happens when you fool around? <laughs> you break your art supplies before you even get to use them. Just swoop that like that. Rub it on here. Pick that up. Maybe we'll just rub it on the on the page. We'll just rub it on the page. Ooh. Ooh, that's got some texture to it. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm I'm not gonna do that with the rest of them. I promise. They are super soft and like slippery, silky. All right, let's pop these open. And no, you're not supposed to use a knife towards you. It's against knife rules. Always away. Come on, there we go. There's our pink one. So we have like a, another copper and pink and green. And then we have silver and more more of a rose and then another copper. And we'll see what kind of colors we can get mixing them together. Let's put this away. Okay. Okay. And let's swatch our stuff. Let's see. We already started with these. Might as well start. Might as well keep going. We've got this crayon. Should I zoom in a bit? Just a bit. There we go. Na na na. Na na na. Okay. There's our crayon. Super lipstick like. Huh. All right. You know what? You know what? I think because I had so much fun last time. Take our gold. Just fill this side in with our gold pen. See what it looks like on the page. Glittery, that's how it's very glittery. We've got some super sparkle happening. And then we'll put our little basket in down here. Like that. There we go. Sorry about that. Out of shot. Then we'll take our colors one by one. Mix them. See what they do together on the paper. 
very lipsticky. I have gotten these in past boxes and um, I use oil pastels so the way these tend to lay down doesn't really do a lot for me but um, I mean they are fun it's different right it says it's a watercolor crayon really let's find out I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's read. Let's read about it, shall we? These exclusive metallic crayons feel great to draw with. Dilute well with water. Try using them with a brush for fine detail work. Right, so you could scrape them off into a palette and use them that way if you really wanted to. Here's the other one. Green. Okay. Green. Ooh, the green is really pretty on that black paper. I'll take that. Kind of crumbly. I'll go over the top of that pink with the green right there. I'm going to play with them a little bit and see what they do when you mix them together. Green. A little bit of green on that pink. Maybe a little bit of water. Mix well, it said, so I'm gonna add a little, and it is very viscous. I don't know that I like that. But you can get some like super shimmer going on, spread it around, right? it out. Get a little, little glitter shimmer going on. I mean you can wet that yeah, once it once again very viscous and leaves texture marks on your page if you're not looking for that that might not be what you want to go do but it looks really good on the paper it shows up really well all right so there's our green and then next to our green we're gonna put our come on copper so that was raspberry emerald and copper are the colors that we got a little bit of copper right here like that and then, let's see, this is probably going to stand out wicked, wicked good. Look at that. Ooh, come on. There we go. Look at that. Super beautiful, shimmery, gorgeous, gorgeous. Copper clouds. Some copper clouds, you guys? Why not? It's a dreamscape. And a crazy colored hot air balloon. And a copper cloud sky. Yeah, I dig it. That's nice. Let's put the car back on that. Whew. That's a mess waiting to happen. Alright, let's pop these suckers open. I've wanted these fine picks for so long. They come in these little um, now the palettes you get these in, these pop out. There's a little, let's focus on what I need you to focus on. There we go. There's a little raised lip thing on the back so that you can pop these into your, your palette if you have it. And it's pretty deep. It's quite a lot of product. Um, does it say the color on here? It does not. So I will have to keep the boxes until I get myself a palette to put them in, which is totally fine. 
They just pop apart, right? Right? Ooh, yeah, they, the lid slides off. And then there's our silver. And I've been fighting getting these palettes because they're a little pricey. And once again, I really don't need any more sparkly paint. But, speaking of sparkly paint, I know you need to really wet these down on the top because they take a little bit of time to activate. So get them a little, get them good and wet and give them, give them a few seconds to, to really soak that water in and, and get activated. And then put a little more over here. You guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. And really let it sit for a hot second. There. And then, I think we'll go in with the silver first. Look at that. That's beautiful, that blue. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that, that's the kind of coverage I'm talking about. Oh man, I might have to get the set of these. Oh, that's so terrible. Look at that coverage! Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Alright, I dig that. Alright, let's try our, our copper now. Really move it around. That's really pretty too. Now this, this is a rose copper. that that's so pretty all right and this 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 down here is just supposed to be a regular copper make sure that's on there good and tight but they're pretty close right so they're, they're probably double the rows on this let's put some next to this right why not a little more water so it moves around a bit thin it out Kind of comparable, right? Next to each other. There we go. It's a little deeper, right? Yeah, all right. So this, this is a little more deep than, than this guy is. It's more of a, well, for me on the black paper, it's more of a real true copper. And this, this feels more rose-like. But that's just my perception. I could be wrong. All right. So there's all of our stuff. What do we want to do? We already created a hot air balloon. Let's create. Let's pop off our swatches. Rah. What else do we want to do? A little, a little impromptu. Um. Yeah. Thinking. Why not? Little, little hot air balloon scene. Drop in our blue on that wet spot right there. Let it bleed and blend, and then maybe a little bit of this copper on the outside edge. Dot it in the middle. Let it blend together. See what happens with that, and then we could have a blue C down here. Like that. 
and then maybe we could create another balloon bigger and closer up, right about here. Wet that peach. I see where it's wet oh yeah nice okay and then take our green layer of it down. I'm pressing pretty hard. That's pretty right. I think a little more green on it though. A little more green. I'm gonna mix them together in the middle. That's pretty. All right. I feel like this guy needs a little more a little more, a little more, just a little more. There we go. It will sparkle like that. Clean that brush pretty good because I did contaminate this one with the silver a bit. Come in and do this one. That edge in. There we go. Close that. And then we can use the gold for our basket. And come down here. Do a little reflective. Reflective reflections down here. Why not? If we're gonna do that though, we should probably make it nice and light so that the water's popping through. And then over here to about there. There we go. Oh, pretty. And then we could put some water a, on my rags for my watercolor artwork and soften the paint down here, make it smooth because it's in the water. Yeah, I take that. Nice. And do this side. Move it out. Then just a touch of like back and forth. Yeah, okay. And then this side. I'm going to convey that this is, oh, there we go, oh it picked up a little bit, in the... oh that's nice, it picks up on the, I wasn't expecting that, on the paper a little bit, a little more water, that, 
it. That's cool. And once again. Like that. Alright, that looks neat, right? Alright, what are we going to do about that sky though? What did we not use? We used all three of those. We used a little bit of the gold. Maybe we should. ballpoint pen unless you're looking to do little groovy marks on your on your these little jelly roll thingamajiggers maybe across that horizon line back there Gently on because it's going to pick up all that that we put down back there. Like that. Maybe a little bit up here. Like that. Okay. I feel like I feel like we should put some clouds in the sky, but gently super light maybe maybe we'll just add water like around the balloons like that and then take this a good mix clean that brush off give it a good dry Ooh, almost spilled it Dip in, and you're not supposed to dip into these, by the way. That's the frowned upon behavior. Don't do what I do. Get a palette out, and really just, you know, be mindful of what you're, what, con what contaminants you're getting in your bottle, which is the reason you're not supposed to be like dipping straight in. I'm gonna put in some. Impromptu, like sky. The texture of the paper is really nice. I'm digging it. And then maybe, because it does get farther away down here, get some. Distant wisps going on. I think that's good. Now what we did up here, we should probably do a little bit of down here. Reflections, right? A little reflective action going on. There. There. And just a touch. Right there. I don't know. Are we digging the, the, the are we digging the sky clouds or nah? I feel like they're too intense. They should be softer. Okay. Yeah, we got 
totally carried away with our situation here. Nothing wrong with that though, right? I feel like the water's just way too bright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add water. Put that out of the way. I'm gonna blot. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. It's less, a little less intense. Yeah. You let me know in the comments if you really prefer the intensity. The intensity. All right, yeah. So I feel like it makes it look more reflective that way. Then maybe we could definitely put the cap on this sucker. I don't want to spill it on the table. <laughs> then we could go in and kind of put a little more water in there. Get our balloons really delineated in there. Are we good? I feel like a little more pink over here on this reflection. Like that. How's that? Yeah, and then maybe a touch more of the green. Just dabbing it on the page. Yay! Okay. Are we done? I think we're done. I'm gonna stop messing around. Ah, that's a lot of product. You guys, it's a lot of product. Um, gotta scoop, 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 scoop out. There we go. Pull this off. And this paper is pretty firm. It's very, pretty dense watercolor paper. Um, pretty close to 140 pound. Really digging it. Super, super like it. I've been wanting black watercolor paper for so long. Here's our swatch. Here's all of our product. Make sure the cap's on that. And here's our fine text. Oh boy. I put these back in the box they belong in. I mean, I only have two. It's going to be hard to mix them up, right? One would hope. Oh, there it goes. No. No. It's very wiggly. That's alright. Mess with it. We're not gonna mess with it. We'll put this guy in there. Pop that on. There's our there's our glitter box. Uh, we did crazy reflective hot air balloon water scene and then we swatched. I'm getting into swatching in a hot air balloon fashion just because it's fun. I kind of prefer the swatch to the actual piece. I think we got too lost in the piece. What do you guys think? Swatch? Piece. <laughs> I don't know. At any rate, I had fun. Sketchbox is always a fun box. They always have great supplies, and I always end up um, making a mess, first and foremost, and then having having more fun than expected. Let me know what you think in the comments below, you guys. Do you like glitter? Do you not like glitter? Is it your thing? Um, it's not really my thing. I like to use it 
in, you know, bits and pieces. But this was fun. I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you guys in the next video.